Well, you know, it was a great day of college action with a bit of a, a somber cloud over it as Alabama quarterback Tua Tungabaloa is gone for the rest of the season after suffering a dislocated hip in today's game against Mississippi State. Tua went down three minutes before the end of the first half. He was carted off the field and then airlifted back to Birmingham for the CAT scans and the MRIs. He's scheduled to undergo surgery and hopefully make a full recovery and get this kid back on the field. All right, I want to bring in CBS College football analyst Jerry Palm. Uh, Jerry, earlier on we talked about the effect of this injury on Tua's career. Now, I ask you, what does his injury do to Alabama's playoff hopes now moving forward? Well, it, I guess it really depends on what Alabama does without him. You know, I mean, they still have a shot at the playoff. However, they're now going to have to win games that they might have needed to win with Mac Jones. And, th and if they can't do that, then they're not going to make the playoffs. Uh, Western Carolina, I don't think, is going to be a problem. But, you know, you've got that game at Auburn at the end of the year. And uh, if Mac Jones can go in and win that game, then I think Alabama still has a shot for the playoff. But 10-2 and two, Alabama is not going to make it. All right, speaking of Auburn, uh, you know, Georgia takes care of Auburn today, securing their spot in the SEC title game. Uh, have they done enough to make the playoff, even if they lose to LSU in December? No, uh, it, because then it's going to depend on what other teams do. 11-2 and two, Georgia is going to have a loss to LSU, and that's obviously a great loss. But then they're going to have a home loss to South Carolina, who might not even make a bowl. So 12-1 champion in the Big 12, 12-1 champion in the Pac-12, Maybe even an 11 and one or 12 and one Ohio State would be a better candidate for a playoff spot as a non-champion uh, than Georgia. So no, I I think Georgia is going to have to find a way to win the SEC. All right, how about uh, Oklahoma, Jerry? You know they take down an unbeaten Baylor team in the comeback of the year in Waco. Uh, you expect them to make a big jump in the rankings this week? Well, they'll probably make some jump. I don't know about a big jump. I mean, obviously that's a it's a win over a, a ranked team, but it's a, a team that the committee only had at 13th this week. Probably, obviously, have them a little bit lower this week. Still probably Oklahoma's best win of the season so far. Uh, but I don't know if that's going to mean getting a big jump or not when you've still got Oregon and Utah and Penn State ahead of you. And, uh, if, in fact, maybe if anybody makes a little bit of a jump, it might be Penn State. Now that the committee won't be fixated on Minnesota having to be ahead of them. Yeah, and listen, you know, Minnesota no longer unbeaten. They moved to 9-1. and one. Uh, Still a good shot. The Golden Gophers make it to the Big Ten title game as a one-loss team. Uh, is that possible with one loss now? Well, they can make it. I mean, they just have to beat Wisconsin to get to the title game and then, you know, beat Ohio State, and they're a 12-1 and one Big Ten champion with some pretty high-quality wins. And, yeah, they probably – uh, make the playoff uh, if uh, if they can pull that off. The question is, do you believe they can pull that off? All right, and Jerry, you know, Minnesota beat Penn State last week. Penn State barely survived Indiana on Saturday. Now they play Ohio State next week. Uh, it's pretty obvious the winner of that game will secure a spot in the playoff if they win out. However, what if Penn State beats Ohio State? I mean, are the Buckeyes out of this thing? Not necessarily. I mean, I think 11-1 and one Ohio State is still a better playoff candidate than even 11 and one Alabama, uh, but probably still would be held back for a 12 and one champion from the Big 12 or the Pac-12. So they might need help if they're still going to be in the playoff. But it's it's not out of the realm of possibility. The problem for them though is that they would most likely be behind whichever team ends up as the actual Big Ten champion. So they might need a little bit of help to make room for them in that spot. All right, listen, Jerry, you know, we're expecting a big shakeup in the rankings after this week. I mean, nobody's really sure what to do with the Pac-12. Uh, you know, what do you think the committee is going to do with Oregon and Utah come Tuesday? Well, they'll probably keep them joined at the hip. They, they've done that here the first couple of weeks. Um, I, I don't see really any reason to switch the order of those teams. Uh, you might see Penn State or Oklahoma kind of get mixed in there. Those four teams could come out in almost any order legitimately, except I think Utah has to be fourth because they don't really have a quality win of any kind, and they have the worst loss of that group of teams. So uh, they're probably going to be the fourth of that group. But you know, Oklahoma, Penn State, Oregon, they're all right there behind probably the same top five as we had last week. 
And Jerry, when the initial smoke clears from the weekend, you know, what are the ratings, uh, the rankings, I should say, look like on Tuesday? Yeah, so you still have LSU, Ohio State, Clemson, uh, Georgia, Alabama, one through five. And then I think number six, they'll end up sticking with Oregon. I think there's a strong case for Penn State to be number six as well. And listen, I know we did it last week, but did your final rankings prediction change at all when this thing's all said and done? Well, since Oklahoma came back from a 28 to 3 and 1, no. I still have uh, LSU versus Oklahoma in the Peach Bowl, Ohio State versus Clemson in the other semifinal. That's the 2 3 game in the Fiesta Bowl. So, yeah, no, no change to the playoff uh, pro projection for this week. All right, CBS College football playoff guru Jerry Palm. Jerry, thank you, my friend. Great information as always. All right, B Max. So, listen. Do we agree with what Jerry says? I mean, your top four teams, what do you think when, uh, when the smoke clears? Yeah, right now, yeah. I, I, I'm right there with Jerry. I think, you know, there's a lot at stake as far as the next few weeks in college football, but seeing it how we see it today, uh, I'm right there with him. All right, ladies and gentlemen, lots more to do here on CBS Sports HQ, presented by Navy Federal Credit Union. When we return, I want to check on Penn State, Indiana. Great game today. Keep it where it is. We're coming right back.